Hickok 45 with a SW22 victory. Let's go for a win. <laughs> All right, let's go for one that'll react. Oh. <laughs> oh, he tried to come at me. Oh. Whoa, 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 give it up. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, I have another magazine. Let's shoot some more. Smith & Wesson. Victory. Pretty nice. Oh, let's do a little pot smoking. <laughs> on the last round. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, this has been much requested and I have been looking. It's, it's a 22 rimfire. Did you notice? And uh, uh, I, I kind of like it, okay? I'll give you the bottom line to start with. Uh, I kind of like the pistol so far, all right? Not a lot of problems. I think we had a one hang up, maybe John did. And uh, with some lighter ammo, I had a lot of hang ups. It, it wants a, a full power 22 ammo, okay? It won't feed just any old thing. Uh, but I've not experimented with you know, reams of different sorts of, uh, of ammo. But with the CCI, I always have good luck and uh, thanks to Federal, we appreciate them sending us that. Uh, it's, it seems to work almost flawlessly, okay? So anyway, we've had that one, it was with the CCI, just the one time, because we could blame that on John, right? Probably wasn't holding his mouth right. No, so just the one that we're aware of, and it's a brand new firearm. I've shot it, I don't know, uh, not extensively, maybe 60, 70 times. Uh, I just have the two magazines, and it, it shoots, uh, Shoots well and feels good and uh, seems reliable. And you know, I've not done a thorough cleaning job on it yet either. I should have done that. I meant to do that for the video and I didn't do it. I ran, in a, ran a boar snake through the boar though. The best place to run a boar snake through the boar. So before I shoot it again, mags out, let me, uh, let me show you the, the cool thing about this, this pistol. It's all stainless except for the grip, this polymer but you've got that brush finish and a stainless slide, barrel and everything, uh, bolt. It's uh, pretty interesting. The takedown on this thing is, is wonderful. Okay, we are definitely clear, so I can move it around here if I want to, point it at myself. You, you just take an Allen wrench, take this uh, screw out, okay? This hex nut, which actually loosened on me there a little bit, didn't it? Uh, didn't get it tight enough. You take that out, and then you kind of you push forward on it a little bit. Oh, just pick it straight up. I've had it apart about eight times. You'd think I'd know by now. And then uh, the bolt just slides right out. And there you go, access to the barrel. I mean, uh, <laughs> we won't badmouth uh, a certain Ruger 22 pistol because it's a really nice pistol, but it's a lot more difficult to take apart than this one. So there is a definite uh, gap in the market for a pistol like this. <laughs> what I, I guess I would say a quality 22 uh, pistol that's easy to break down and clean. Uh, I mean, that, that's a wonder. And uh, the, the firing pin comes out there without any trouble. And it's just a dream. I like it. Now, some of you might not. You might not like having to get an Allen wrench, hex wrench, and take out a bolt or a screw. I don't mind that a bit. I don't mind it one iota because that is simple enough. Uh, for one thing, it's not a combat pistol and I just don't see any problem with that at all. Apparently, it's not easy to design a 22 target pistol like this that's extremely simple in design and easy to take apart, I guess, because not many people have done it, right? So that is one of the claims to fame. You got your fiber optic sights, uh, very, very highly visible. And uh, what else do you have? You got your thumb safety here. It's kind of like a 1911. And uh, that's natural to a lot of people, of course. Again, this is not a combat or a carry piece. So things like that uh, is nothing to get excited about one way or the other. And you do have uh, this old magazine disconnect that a lot of people don't like if you have the the magazine out trigger will not pull it will not fire okay so you, again since it's not a carry piece that's not as big a deal i guess to most people 
Uh, this comes off the uh, the sight. You can see you got your another hex bolt and that comes off, and you put a rail on it, which actually has a little sight on the rear. I'm not going to put it on, but uh, so you can put that on there in case you want to stick on a red dot or something like that. Okay. So and then you still have a eh, not a metallic sight, but you got a little bit of a sight back there uh, if you don't have something uh, attached to it. So pretty neat little pistol. Let me uh, let me load the thing up here again. Uh, the sight or the grip is polymer and look at that you got checkering on the back you got checkering on the front uh, the panels come off there i think they're even replaceable uh, i don't know if there's anything else available in different size yet or not uh, speaking of that i do know the barrel uh, it comes off very simply with another little hex nut i believe it is there underneath and i haven't taken the barrel out but uh, there's at least one company of all quartz in i think maybe another company or two have replacement barrels uh, for it already so you can get threaded barrels so pretty cool pretty cool uh all of these 22 semi-automatic pistols and rifles if you fire them very very many times yourself you know that there's a point where they get dirty and less reliable uh i've not reached that yet i don't think on this one but that's just the nature of uh you know 22 rim fire for the most part and so i'm always pleased if yeah i don't know whatever first 50 or 100 rounds you you don't have any problems you know or maybe two or three i don't know so uh some guns are more finicky than others my model 41 smith which is a primo semi-automatic smith and wesson uh, pistol 22 rim fire many of you are familiar with you've seen it in our videos that's a really nice pistol and it'll it'll fire quite a while but then it'll get gummed up and start you know giving you trouble because 22 ammo is just dirty but uh this one uh so far has seemed pretty good let's shoot it some more i like the feel of it uh, the grip all right oh we've got some two liters have not been addressed <laughs> All right, I love it. 22s have about as much impact on them as anything. Let's try the red plate. All right, let's try the gong. Let's try them again. Too bad it doesn't hold 30 rounds, right? Yeah, I think I hear it. Hey, Mr. Cowboy. <laughs> hey, it's a fun little uh, pistol. Uh, as far as things I don't like about it, I, I tell you, for a 22 target pistol, plinker, I've, I've not really discovered anything uh, distasteful. Uh, to tell you the truth, it, uh, the grip feels good. When I first picked it up out of the box, I thought, wow, that feels good. Uh, feels good in my hand. Uh, it's got a nice trigger. Trigger is sweet. Uh, and it's got an over-travel adjustment on it, by the way. Uh, I love the way it comes apart. Uh, sights are good. I like the lines of the pistol. So uh, I don't know. I'm going to have trouble uh, being honest about this gun. <laughs> Now, really, if you don't, there's something about almost every firearm that, that you don't like or I don't like, right? And there should be something about almost every firearm that both of us like. It's just the way it is, and that's what we try to point out, things we like or, or don't like. And, uh, I, you know, it's just neat. I kind of like the looks of the thing. Uh, so, I don't know. Let me load up some more ammo here. Let me shoot a couple more magazines. I, I wanted to mainly bring it to your attention. I have a lot of requests to to try it out and uh and i have wanted to because i like 22 pistols it's just that i don't know uh some of them are kind of funky they're kind of finicky and they're kind of a strange design this one seemed pretty interesting to me and uh, i like it i have to say uh, i wouldn't mind owning this one it reminds me a little bit of the the was it browning the buck mark a buddy of mine had one of those that he used to bring out and would shoot it and uh i mean it was a good feeling pistol kind of i'd have to see them side by side again i guess that's one we've never done really the buck mark but i, I like that 
uh, 22 pistol pretty well. Uh, as I recall, it might not have broken down as simply. I don't, I don't know. I don't recall. I'll tell you what I do while it's empty. I'm going to test that uh, screw again. See if it loosens. No, I got it tight the last time. That's good. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I, I really can't uh, think of anything I hate about it, tell you the truth. It's, uh, it's a good pistol, apparently. Uh, and, I, and searching around the web, I don't find a lot of negative about them. If you know something about it that's not working out, that people are having trouble with, let us know. But uh, other than the magazine disconnect, those can be a little bit annoying. Uh, not so much on a just a range pistol, target target pistol, but uh, they can be annoying. And some people absolutely will not own a firearm that, that has that. So that might be considered a negative. Doesn't bother me too much on this particular pistol uh yeah i just like the lines on that thing that's a it's a good looking gun all right let's plink a little more here one thing we've not done oh we sprayed our uh, paper target there with something didn't we let's machine gun a little bit <laughs> a little uh little ricochet or splatter you know, I didn't have my ears on, and I was the first to know. I was the first to realize. Okay. And we have a couple of 12 ounces. Ow. Let's hit some plates. Feels good. Feels good. Let's go for a hat shot on the cowboy. I think I put one around the top of his hat. All right, I'll take that. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, the SW22, I won't go for a thousand rounds through it. We've had just this, the one little you know, hiccup with the, you know, the good ammo. And uh, it's probably just dirty. And it is new, so I don't know how, uh, how much breaking in the things need. Uh, but it's got a crown front uh, muzzle too, by the way, I didn't mention. So, yeah, nice pistol, a nice feeling, a nice looking, uh, shoots well and breaks down easily. And so uh, I'm sorry, I, I can't, I just can't think of a way to bash the thing right now. I'll think of something later maybe. Pretty cool, the SW22 uh, might be uh, something worthy of your your attention if you're looking for a, a nice little target uh, or plinker you know 22 22 ammo is so cheap now right and so available <laughs> life is good oh since i'm still here let me thank sdi for all their help sdi is a fully accredited online gunsmithing school check them out at sdi.edu we'd also like to thank bud's gun shop and federal premium for all of their support you can find us on full 30 also now and you can find the links to our Facebook pages and the other YouTube pages in the description of any video. So I invite you to check out the description in every video or any video, you'll find what you need to know. And you'd better do it.